Hola, soy Herbert Sena Sosa, and now we're talking about the two node cluster, uh, which is actually a, a rather neat solution if you were to think about it. And the idea of the two node cluster is you have a small location um, where you just need maybe one host to, for your compute needs, but you want to have some redundancy, right? You, you're remote in the middle of nowhere, you don't want to have the whole site goes down just because a node fails. So you usually install two hosts uh, at that location to run your local workloads. And, but the challenge with that is that vCENT to provide you protection with an FTT of one, you need at least three nodes. So how do we go about it? Enter the two node cluster. The two node clusters is basically two nodes, one, two, with a third ESXi host, which is a virtual appliance that it's running somewhere outside of this, right? You don't run the appliance here, you run it somewhere else. And um, the somewhere else could most likely be where your vCenter is, but you can also run it in a cloud as long as that third location is within 500 milliseconds round trip from these two guys, right, from this location. So how does this thing set up? So you have host number one and host number two. They, are, they have a connection between each other, uh, two connections, because you remember you want redundancy. Uh, so you have two connections between each other and when you have a VM running over here, let's say, and you enable an FTT of one in this VM with rate of one method, then you have the witness over here, right? That appliance that I mentioned, the ESXi virtual appliance that is acting as the witness VM. Uh, and then this host will save a copy of its component over here, right? Because we have FTT of one, and the second copy goes over here. And there you have two data copies, they are replicas of each other, and the witness over here. So this sounds good, uh, but what, else can, what can this do for me in case of a failure? Well, that's where HA comes in. So let's assume that this hose goes down. Actually, forget the HA, let's talk about this. So let's say this hose goes down right here. Well, this guy went down, you already had a copy here, so this guy still has data. What about if the witness goes down? Well, these guys still have the data, so they still run. But what about if this guy goes down? Well, you have a copy of the data here, and he's talking to the witness, and HA comes in, vSphere HA, and says, oh, that host is dead, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring that being up over here, and power it back up, so it recovers. The one thing is that when you configure this via HA, make sure that the APD and the OPATH down and the permanent device loss, the PDL, they both configure to shut down VM in case of an isolation. Make sure you configure it that way. Um, and other than that, that's it. Uh, one potential advantage for this solution is that these links, you can do two 10 gigs cross-connected, right? Back-to-back, crossover cables if you're using copper. Back-to-back, um, -back, and you don't have to buy a 10 gig switch on top of rack, right? You can go with a typical one gig switch just to connect the management and the production traffic for the VMs, as well as the connectivity back to the witness. Uh, with that, I wanna say thank you for watching the two node cluster video. Soy Eversena Sosa, have a good day. Mm -hmm.